So now let's discover a totally different experience. We see Shadows, a six-parter sci-fi ecological thriller created by Jonathan Rio and Monica Ratazzi, and that stars Fleur Geffrier in the role of Abigail. Um, it's directed by David Oureg. Uh, you know him uh, amongst many other titles with uh, Germinal, and produced by Stéphane Moretti at Tally Image. It's a show done for France 2, and it's a pleasure to introduce you the very first images of the show that is currently in post-production. So Stéphane, could you tell us more about the show after this quite amazing teaser? Yes, uh, we're very excited to present those very first images. Uh, the initial creator of the show, Jonathan Rio, uh, has been struck by a very special event uh, under the sea, but far from our shores. Actually, in, in 2018, in the North Pacific, a killer whale named Talekwa lost her baby, uh, born half an hour before. And she couldn't bring herself to let him go. So, therefore, she's been swimming and gently pushing him for over seven years, consumed with grief. That's actually the way the original idea of Sea Shadow started. Jonathan proposed his idea to Minty Studio, our co-producer, to get the right balance between drama and genre. Monica Ratazzi joined the team as co-writer. And finally, Minty and Tally decided to join their forces in regards with the scale of the project. David, you like gambles. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, Germinal was one. This one is another one, and uh, how did you work around the scale of this project? At first, the, the series is a classic mystery series, uh, in which we, we distill some sci-fi elements. There are signals that something else is happening, something more dangerous, mysterious, uh, frightening. Uh, sea Shadows is a series with great ambition that plays with uh, a lot of genre of storyline. You have the... Uh, social background with the fishermen uh, who are threatened by the creature because they can go to the sea to work and uh, to earn their lives. You are the more drama, uh, intimate storyline with Abigail uh, uh, who has to deal with uh, her own past and, uh, and grief. You have, of course, the sci-fi storyline with the creature. We'll talk about uh, this later. And uh, you have... Um, uh, even a more global one, when the army comes to town to take back control of the operation. By blending all these kinds of uh, genres, we managed to create a series, a sci-fi series with a unique French touch, uh, um, uh, grounded in social reality, uh, set in beautiful and rough landscape, and with a strong emotional stake. Also, uh, um, talking again and make the audience feel the extraordinary right now in 2024 uh, uh, without taking it by the approach of the 80s, the nostalgic uh, approach was also one of my strongest uh, personal ambition. So should we or shouldn't we talk about the creature? Let's talk about it. Let's not see it. <laughs> um, the creature in the, the show reveal itself by different uh, uh, ways, uh, uh, bioluminescence, vibrations, uh, sound, and uh, of course the damages it caused on, uh, on ships. We did a, a great work on set using uh, waterproof light equipment, uh, sound design to make uh, its presence beneath the surface perceptible. It was an hard task, especially during winter in Normandy. <laughs> <laughs> but the result rewards our, our efforts. Of course, we have the creature. And to imagine it, we were inspired by the theory of uh, ab uh, abyssal gi gigantism. Uh, the more deeper you are, the bigger you are. We also crossed the law of evolution with uh, old centuries legends to, uh, to create a creature that... Uh, that is as spectacular as it is uh, credible. So uh, I won't show you the creature right now uh, because we are currently in the VFX process, but I can show you uh, some stills 
of the characters when they see the creature to let you imagine <laughs> how big and surprising it is. Okay. I love this one. <laughs> oh my God, it's big. Uh, Julia, what are the, the key selling points for you of this show? Actually, first of all, for the story, when we heard that there will be a sea monster on primetime on France 2, of course, we wanted to be part of this adventure. Not only for our personal pleasure, but also because since several years, we found as a distributor that globally, on even a worldwide stage, the sci-fi genre, horror films, and also, yeah, typically creatures, fantastic creatures, were becoming really popular again. There's something happening. Audiences want to find hidden mysteries of our nature, maybe reconnect to the what's beyond the human world. So that was really interesting for us. Besides that, there are the genre elements in Sea Shadows. There's David's artistic vision. It makes it really a series beyond classic TV. It finds its inspiration for me much more in the sci-fi feature films. In this world, maybe with some elements out of Spielberg's classics, but then David takes it more to a modern angle, maybe even an ecological angle as well. So that's really interesting. We have a great artistic package, great French talents. You can see them, rising new stars like Fleur Greffier, Greffier that we already know a little bit, but also very well-known faces like Thierry Godard, Jean Macbar, which makes it really an event for us. So, what can I say else? The series is in post-production right now. It will be ready in autumn. We have already a really positive feedback from the market, and we will be really excited to discuss with you after our session. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you, David. Thank you, Julia. And thank you, the creature. <laughs> <laughs>